Hello to everyone, guys. Today, I will show you uh, in this session that how we can create a custom header and footer for our reports. So mostly on um, internet and um, I have already just bit researched. Uh, I have just found very few, uh, very few uh, custom layout tutorials using the new technology like uh, Odoo, in Odoo 16 and using SCSS as file. So, well, so this tutorial will be a bonus um, and I hope you will like this. So let's go in settings. I'm using Odoo 16, by the way. And first of all, in settings, I have just filled the basic info. So let's suppose the what I means by the basic info that I have just filled the company details so what you can do you can go in company and you can go to this form by various ways so first of all let me just show you how we can go there so if we click on settings and if we click on users and companies in companies we can just create a new company and then go in settings and in basic settings we can just give uh, the co company info so i've just filled company name is odoistic this is the address and let's change this i would say woodford and save this tax id i would say and here gpr let's save it okay so let's usd then or oh, whatever so you can just do the changings here in settings and then what i mean uh, by the layouts so at the moment odoo is using external layout boxed so we can change this layout as well so if let's suppose i can click configure document layout so here if you can see that we are using boxed so if you want to use light so you can see the report uh, layout has been changed bold is this stripped is this so we are using at the moment boxed this is the footer this is the header and this is the body layout so we save it and paper format remember paper format we are using a4 at the moment i will show you later that how we can configure paper format as well so let's go sales and click a report uh, print a report when we will print so it will exactly come um, come up with the same layout which is there which is external layout box which is like this this is icon which i have already saved in company info which is my uh, basic info a uh, basic company uh, you can save whatever icon you want to print uh, in the report but let's suppose that we don't want to use these layouts and we want to create our own layout how we can do that so this tutorial is just for that so let's do that um, guys maybe this video because this is a bit um, longer version so maybe this video will be um, quite big so maybe i will um, just distribute or just you know cut it off in two videos so let's start uh, so we go in visual studio what I'm going to do for this tutorial that I'm going to create a module, new module for our external a layout for header and footer. So um, in custom, I'm just going to create a new folder and I would say or do a stick uh, header and footer. And then in here, I would create a folder, which is model. Then I would create a new folder. I will say 
static new folder I would say uh, views right uh, then we need to create uh, init file as well so we create a new file dot i and we will create a manifest file right um, so guys um, in static file in static folder we will create another folder which is source and we will create a new folder so in static and then uh, source and we will create a new folder um, in 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 source we will create a new folder in source which will be s css so s c s s and then in this folder we will create a new file and we would say that layout uh, dot scss so remember um, this is the new way Odoo is using CSS for our um, layout for our template or you know um, for our HTML templates uh, whatever we want to uh, change the layout so rather than using CSS we will use layout because this is the new thing in Odoo 16 okay after this um, what we do we will just put the manifest file so what I have done I have just saved it and I will just copy and paste but I will just give you the code don't worry so I just save this manifest file here so guys um, the name of our uh, module then version tools uh, category summary uh, author so you know all these things already there are videos there so in data um, we have got views and that this file we have not created it yet so what we do that we go in uh, our views folder which we have created and we create a new file and we say that template dot xml right so we have created already template dot xml and um, the path is also there okay guys this is a new thing I need to tell you and very important uh, assets so we will because that is an asset file which we have created layout dot scss and web dot report assets underscore common that will automatically uh, automatically use it from uh, base Odoo modules and then we would say we, we would give the path and here because uh, this is the name of our module so what we say we just copy this and we paste it here so odoistic header footer and then static this is the folder static which I have created and then src source and then in that folder we have got scss file so we don't need to give the complete path what we need to do just right just like that right guys so uh, this is our layout.scss file which we will utilize this file later and i will just show you how we can uh, write code in this file so let's go to our template first so uh, what we need to write it here so guys we are just going to make a new header a new footer so I have um, I've just written uh, the basic structure for that which I will also give you in the description so let me just paste it here 
okay and now we, we will just go in our template file and let's start writing the template um, so the first thing we just need to write the basic syntax and uh, let's use this encoding and let's use this okay and then we just say odoo oh, okay guys um so because that video will be very prolonged so that's why i have just written and i will just copy paste and i'll explain it to you what i have done so here this is the template id you can just choose whatever uh template id you want so this is custom so this all syntax you can just find if you just go in odoo module uh, web to make a template so if you go and find the module which is web there uh, web and then if you go in views and then report templates so if you see there this is a template and it's exactly the same thing which i'm just so this is a let's find a basic template which is we will find it there so this is a minimal layout this is the address layout uh, this is the external layout stripped and we are using external layout boxed so if you see this is the same uh, class which odoo is using so we have just copied from there so exactly the same thing so it's just setting the company t setting a company here value is this and then this is another uh, t a t t f class odoo class and here only one thing i have just changed which is i have given the custom class name here o underscore odoo is tech so uh, because then we can just use this uh, in our css and so this is just uh, you can change that and then it's just calling web address layout in this template so this is the way we are just making the template and then let's make the footer so i've just copied this code and i paste it so this is the syntax for basic footer and you can just go in web module and you can see how um odoo has created footer in the basic layouts so it's the main same classes which they are using this is the class name only one thing i have changed the name of this class which i have given o underscore odu stake underscore footer that's it all other uh, classes name just leave it like that then uh, this is a row and this is report footer field in company we are just using to give the page number and this class which is two page this is for two page let's suppose a report is three pages long and uh, first page will show one slash three and then two slash three and then three slash three so this is the footer that's it only one thing you need to change which is this if you want to change uh, let's suppose your company name is xyz so o underscore xyz underscore footer or you know if you want to use another name it's up to you so this is it this is the footer and now we are going to add a header so okay so now let's suppose this is the a template id for my header and footer so this temp because x role v so this footer will come under uh by this template okay after that uh, this is the basic uh classes which we are giving so the same thing uh setting the company and then value is uh, user dot company underscore id <clears throat> oh. 
Okay, let's close this. Okay, um, after that, let's start a diff. This is just the basic uh, syntax. So I would say div class and uh, just give any name here. I would say Odu is thick header. Yeah. And um, then you can just give whatever you like. So here I would say I will make another div here and I start with row. I would say it's a row number one. And then first, let me just print my logo. So I would say image. Sorry, see, you know how we can get our image. So it's image data URL. And from where we are getting this, we say res underscore company, which is the model, and we say logo. Simple. And here we can give any style or we can give in styling and everything in our SCSS file. Uh, I would say width is 150 px or whatever you like. It's up to you. Or what I do, I just don't give any styling here. So just I'm getting my uh, logo hairs at just a logo now. We will just go from here uh, further but let's just leave it just a logo now and then i will just go from here okay guys um, and now to call the uh, uh, body layout this is the syntax this is the code basic code which we will give after the uh, footer so let's this is a footer Format document, okay. So yeah, let's format this. Okay, so this is the code for uh, calling the um, reports body um, layout thing. So this is a div at the same syntax, the same layout, same classes. And only difference is here, we are just calling tRaw is equal to zero. This is how we are calling um, our reports layout. Okay, guys. Uh, so, yeah, this is it. This is um, our header footer template. And this is the footer. So, what you do, let's restart the service. Let me just upgrade the module. Let's install this. This is Odoistic report template. This is the module. Okay, it has been installed. Let's go to the settings. So here, if you see, there is no layout at the moment. So what we need to do, uh, the name of our custom layout is this Odooistic header footer. So just try to find it, Odoo. So this is it, Odooistic header footer. So we choose this and then we save it. Okay, after that, let's preview our document. 
So remember, we have just uh, placed our logo at the moment. So this is our, so this is it. Just a logo at the moment, guys. So what you can do now to do more styling, it's up to you. This is the, and this is our footer on right side. The class name, I have used just a simple footer, page one of one. So what we can do here, if I, let's go to our Visual Studio and to this file. So remember, if we go in our template, so our header name is this. This is the our header class name. So what we say, just copy this and go in our layout underscore uh sorry this it was layout yes so here just paste um as you know that that is a class and we say dot and then paste that class and we say here background uh color Can we see any? Okay, background color. And we choose background color. You know, let's choose an Odoo color. I will say Odoo colors. And these are the Odoo brand colors. Let's choose this color, Odoo ones. So let's paste this with hash. So you see that Odoo color is there. Let's restart our service. I also need to upgrade the module as well. Let's upgrade our module again. I will just show you the power of um, SCSS. How cool is it? I mean, it's beyond imagination what you can do. Just you can do whatever you like. It's just your design now. So go in settings. Already our uh, header and footer has been set. We just preview our document now. Sorry for this. I mean, I can't cut it short. So you see, before, just a logo. And then now we have put background color. Full. Uh, one more very important thing we can do. Uh, as I told you, if we go in settings, that we are using um, if A4. Configure document layout is A4. So how we can do paper format? I show you so go in paper format we are using a4 so because I have told you that I'm using this so in here I'm not using any left margin and right margin so let's do seven here and right margin seven here you can also do top margin bottom margin header spacing a lot of things you can do so I just save this just to just show, show you how we are controlling our paper formats so now if we go in settings and if we click on preview document, so you can see left margin and right margin. Before there was no margin. If you want, you can also do minus. So, well, it's up to you. Okay, one more thing I want to show you guys before I just end this video. It's already too long. So if we go in template, so at the moment, it's just our um, logo at the moment. So I've just written some some cool thing, which I show you. So if I paste it here, second div, and I will say that address right, the class name I put it address right and then I say if there is street then put street address here then if, if there is street 2 then street 2 city 
state and etc and then company name country id let's restart the service i will be a bit quick here not waste your time and i will to restart the uh, upgrade the service let me just uh, just re resume it and pause it okay guys the module has been upgraded if i go in settings now and i show you the preview document now so before there was just logo and we have just placed the background uh, color you see now so this is logo now we have just put this address here so what i can do here if you want this to on the right side you can just set it um, in your scss file how you can do that just simple um, okay this is just the header i would say that dot this is the header file this is the header class and in that class um, what is our second class name which is address right so we say um, dot control v so dot address right let me just dot address right and in this class what i want um, i want margin left which i want here um 640 px let's ex right so i am saying that margin left 600 right let's see how it perform i'm again pausing this and then resuming after upgrading them okay i think yeah it's been upgraded i go in settings now and preview the document so you can see the address class is should be on right hand side now because i have given uh, margin left so as you can see that whole class because i have given this uh, address right i have just given a class so we can easily target classes in css as you all know so this is on right side so now we want to take it up so how you can do that it's very simple um, we can just do a margin top and i would say minus 70 because we are going to take it upward px right let's restart service upgrade our module let's upgrade our module so you you have seen now there are unlimited um, unlimited things you can do with this now it's just up to you it's up to you you don't need to buy templates from uh, from companies you can just create your own templates you create your own header footer um, uh, it's up to you how you like to design it and um, through this you can do whatever you like it's 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 really really uh, amazing and very very strong uh, very powerful scss we can create okay so you can see that this has gone up so if you can do more uh, like minus 70 i have done it now so if you can do more like minus 80 or minus 90 so it will just go up or you can just create more stuff in your headers and footers it's up to you okay one last thing i want to show you uh, let's go to sales now so because we have set up our template so let's print any quotation or sale order 
So once you do that, you will see that our template will be in it. So that's it. This is our header. This is our footer. If we go in our, let's suppose, invoices, we click an invoice, print it. So that was the sales. This is invoice. So as you can see here, it is voila, everything it is. So it's so simple, guys. It's so simple. It's so powerful. And I will uh, also paste uh, the code as well in the des description. I hope you like this video. If you like it, please um, like this channel, subscribe this channel, and share this channel with your friends. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.